Hey guys, in this video we're gonna attempt to replace the radiator on this 2016 Chevy Sonic LT. This one's a blue color. Uh, it had an accident, the front was hit. As you can see the hood's uh, slightly smashed. The bumper was damaged, so I removed the bumper to the side. The radiator is uh, leaking from the rear, so right about there this edge most radiators over time start leaking but this one was it's leaking because of the damage so basically we have to replace it and the uh, cooling fan was smashed into pieces as well so I already took that out as you can see the front bumper is uh, taken off moved it to the side the two front headlights are removed the top cover for the uh, over the bumper right over here the plastic one I removed that one as well so the first step we do is basically we can try to actually this is my first time replacing it on this Chevy Sonic I've never replaced a radiator on a Chevy Sonic before and basically I removed the cooling fan and there is this Cool, coolant reservoir or coolant tank right here it's connected with two 10 millimeter bolts right over here on yours you're going to remove the two screws here first one and a second one here and we'll just gently put, put that aside you can just hang above the engine there and the next step is um i once we removed the cooling fan pulled it out i got another video on how to replace the cooling fan you can check that out how to replace the cooling fan on a 2016 chevy sonic and we're going to remove the radiator upper hose this big guy right here and it's got this clamp that i just moved to the side we're going to use pliers that look like they look like this adjustable ones and basically you squeeze on the side you squeeze it in and pull it out push it out and it can just hang on the hose for now and next thing we're going to be att attempt to do is just move this hose out and be careful we're gonna expect that I'm expecting that some fluid coolant will leak out and as usual it's a bit hard to do with one hand so I'm going to try to um, try to there we go um, so the next another okay the upper hose is out another part of this is the upper radiator support has two radiator support brackets basically they're connected right here that you're gonna see I already removed these ones so there will be two of these on left and right side there's one here and one's gonna be right over here and they're connected with 13 millimeter bolts we're gonna remove those unscrew the bolt take it out and pull this thing out the radiator has a little bit of wiggle room so we can take it out the next step is basically uh, since the crack was at a midpoint there's still about half a fluid maybe or less coolant in the radiator so we're gonna go ahead and uh, drain the rest of it out so that we don't have uh, radiator coolant antifreeze leaking all over the place so to drain the radiator uh, we need to unplug that radiator plug fluid plug and that is located kind of at towards the front lower passenger side it's this one right here uh, you see yeah that's this one right here and i was actually able to unscrew that by hand so we'll drain the fluid into a funnel and the funnel goes to a one gallon water distilled water jug here we'll go ahead and uh, unplug that 
slowly right there and hope you can see that fluid dripping right there all right starting to drip whoa oh little accident okay 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 we made a big mess oh i thought I, it wasn't gonna come out all the way but it did that fluid's all it's useless anyways okay i'm gonna try to put that back in then So guys, we had almost about a gallon of radiator fluid antifreeze leak out. We had a little accident. So I advise, do not try to do this uh, with one hand. Use both hands. Put that plug back in there. Okay, uh, it's pretty much empty now. So the next step here is we're going to remove the... There's two more hoses. There, we removed the upper hose. There's the radiator lower hose. There's actually two hoses. That's our lower hose that connects to the engine inflow outflow right here. And this one here is connected to the res reservoir hose. Basically, I use this set of pliers, clamp down this clamp, squeeze it down and from the opposite side and pull it slightly out. Same with the lower radiator hose clamp. And we're going to basically try to pull that hose out. Okay, so the next step basically, guys, is to pull those two hoses out. It's a little hard to do with one hand. I'm going to use both hands. Actually, maybe we can do a video from this side. All right, this one's out here. And... Okay, let's see the... Yeah, almost out. There it is. That's out too. Okay, next, we've got this, oh, it's still leaking fluid. Okay, there's a, at the bottom here, hope you can see it, let me get a visual. There's a little clamp here, um, wire connected to the lower radiator right here. Okay, right there. And we have to disconnect that wire. To disconnect it, we press it down at the end with, press it down with your thumb, like that, and it pulls right out. Okay, next we're gonna have to disconnect the uh, transmission cooling lines. It's got C clamps. Right, this one here, towards, towards up the upper end and there's one more at the lower and down at the bottom right there um, it's a long it. okay there's one there and there's one right right here we have to disconnect those next so okay to remove this transmission cooling lines there's two of these guys and the first thing we do is there's this plastic black plastic cover up top and we remove that just like that it comes right off and there's the C clamp right here and we remove that with a little uh, screwdriver or something sharp comes right out I'm gonna show you how to do that with the bottom one and then we twist and turn and slightly and pull it up it comes snaps out all right let's do the same with the 
bottom one. Okay, let me get a visual here. Actually, actually, yeah, just right there. Okay, so the plastic piece comes right out. Okay, the plastic piece is out. Now the C clamp. We have to remove the C clamp. I don't see it well yet. And how do we take how do we reach that? It's a bit hard. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Okay guys, we're gonna remove the lower transmission cooling line next with the C clip later on. It's a bit hard to reach. So basically, we can try to do it once we have the radiator off the condenser, off the vehicle. Um, there's four eight millimeter bolts that are connecting the radiator to the condenser through these through these uh, the plastic bracket. So we're gonna unscrew those. This is the top passenger first one. At the bottom, there's another one right here. Eight millimeter bolt on the front driver's side. There is one here. Um, looks like there is. There's two of them here. One and two. And then there's another one at the bottom. Let me get a visual here. Oh, there's uh no, not that. It's this one here. Uh, yep, right there. This one. Probably two there. Looks like there might be two. So we're going to try to remove those. And... Yeah, just go ahead and remove all six here. Okay guys, this is that uh, lower lower C clamp for that transmission line. Basically there's the clip. I hope you can see it from here. And Okay, I think that thing just fell. Uh, we're supposed to find and save it because we need it when we put it back. But I think the new radiator comes with a spare one. It's got one too. And we just pull it out. So I'm going to need two hands to pull this thing out. Oh, I guess not. There we go. It's out. Both of them are removed the same way. Um, as far as those four, let me pull the light here. I was telling you four eight millimeter bolts on the corners of these. Actually, it turns out there's eight of them. One on each corner. One holds the condenser, uh, attaches the condenser to the radiator, and one of them holds the this plastic bracket here holds the radiator to that plastic bracket on all four corners and with that piece removed eight eight of the eight millimeter bolts removed and this one here removed the hose is removed and the lines removed we should be able to just pull out the radiator pull it out um, so the top mount is getting stuck And yeah, the radiator comes right out. Let me see if I can get a visual here. So, okay, guys, the uh, I pulled out the old smashed radiator. The leak was right over here. As you can see, this is the old radiator. 
this is the new one the new one i got for about 55 60 dollars on primechoice.com they offered the best price but i've never purchased a radiator from them before so i guess we're gonna find out if it's good or not hopefully it's good and they had some positive reviews and negative ones but mostly positive and people were happy so the only difference i see here is basically everything's looking the same there was that bottom this is the side that faces the driver this is not the bumper side this is the back side of the radiator that faces the driver and not the street the front of the uh, bumper so on that lower corner right corner here there's that uh, connecting wire and at the bottom it's got the connecting clamp or something so we just pry that right down pry it out there's that and it should snap right out um, I'm gonna have to put it on this new radiator this piece looks clean the car is 2016 so I don't think we should really be we don't really need to clean that thing and we have to put that clip back in there okay yep it's holding it there now okay so that's that's it for now we're gonna go ahead and put in the new radiator connect all the hoses and fill it up with coolant and start the car see how it runs and go from there oh um actually next we're gonna move these top uh the top uh, radiator bracket rubber bushings so we're gonna take that and move it over here and we're gonna do the same with this one and oh a bit stuck here the bushing comes off and it's got that little tip right here and a little side opening on the inner side so it goes right in and snaps in there all right when we're pulling this radiator out there's five six hoses and lines getting on the way just be careful good luck with that okay we'll go ahead and put this new one in there hope I'm not missing anything uh, I don't think I'm missing anything now and that's the drain plug, that white plug right there on this new one. It comes with that new drain plug. And we'll slowly get it in there. Um, okay, I'm going to need both hands here, so I'm going to pause the video and get back. So guys, there is uh, two of these little bushings the bottom of the radiator this little tip here it goes right on the bottom radiator support which is part of the subframe and this one got stuck there so I had to take this out it's real simple and easy to do and we just bring it right here and it's kind of hard to get a visual here basically at the bottom here and it's supposed to snap right here we'll press it with our hand okay, that you can see it guys it's hard to see it okay let me get a visual okay it's this piece right here i hope you can see it and then the bottom of the radiator goes right in it Okay guys, once the radiator is in, we're going to screw all those 8 bolts, the 8 millimeter ones, and we're basically going to be putting the top mount brackets, um, these ones, I already put the left, in, left side in, and it goes right just like that, and it should kind of snaps in there. Let me get a better visual. So 
So it's got a little spot that it snaps right in, just like that, and a 13 millimeter bolt goes right in there. We're gonna tighten that all the way. And next we're just going to go ahead and reconnect all of our hoses basically. So let's start with the harder to reach ones so that the hoses don't block our way. And there was that wire connection that goes, oops, that's dripping. Okay, we're gonna connect that one. And we're gonna go ahead and attach the lower radiator hose. Okay, the lower radi radiator hose goes in. Um, the transmission fluid lines, the two cooling lines, the two aluminum lines, it snaps right back in there. The seat clip is already attached to the new radiator, so that's a good thing. Here's another one right here. It should just snap right in. Um, well, nope, I don't think it's in yet. So, yeah, well, I'll push that in with two hands in a minute. We'll connect the upper radiator hose, it goes right in. We'll uh, tighten the clips in a second. Okay, so... And the hose from the fluid, the coolant reservoir tank, this one here, goes right back in there too. And push the C-clips, these ones, using two hands, push them in. And that's pretty much it. We're going to start filling it once we... Uh, move the clips in on the hoses and everything's tight we're going to fill it up with coolant and the filling cap is right here on your uh, coolant reservoir right over here you take this cap off and fill it up with Chevy coolant I think it's kind of reddish orange color these days Okay guys, I went ahead and uh, hooked up the hoses back and tightened the clamps. I went ahead and uh, reinstalled the new fan and it has two 8mm millimeter, millimeter, uh, bolts on this left side here. It's got a little hatch, kind of two hinges, lower and upper that connect on this side. And I added uh, antifreeze coolant, as you can see it's half full. The car's been running for about 10 to 15 minutes. The fan kicks in. No sign of overheating. AC's working. And uh, we're all set. Good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, good luck with yours. Take care. If you're interested in uh, installing headlights, bumper, hood, and everything else, you can uh, continue watching the next videos on this channel. Take care. Thanks, guys.